All right, guys, welcome to episode number seven. Here we're gonna be talking about the wing on the car. It's one of the components to my aerodynamics package for next season. And there's a lot of wings out there on the market for these cars. There's a lot of BS out there as well. So uh, for this season, I'm gonna go with something different than I went with last season. Uh, last season, I ran a uh, eBay wing, which is basically just a replica of the Chase Racing Voltex wing. Uh, it was a great wing. It worked phenomenally. I, actually, it was good enough to win a championship and a number of track records with. So nothing bad to say about it. It's very fairly priced. I'll, I'll send you guys a quick link on where you could even buy that wing. And the reason I wanted to go with something different, that was a 3D wing that I ran last year. I was looking to go with something that had less drag. So I'm going with the 2D wing this time. And we'll talk a little bit about some of the design aspects of the new wing. It's a wing that not many people have heard about in the S2000 community, at least. But it's really popular in uh, in sports car racing and in the Ferrari world and GTR world. So let's get into it. All right. It. So what is this really nice piece of carbon fiber that I'm recording here? This is the new wing for my build for next season. This is a wing by Aeromotions. Aeromotions is an American company. And... Uh, they just make a really nice, ultra high quality product. Uh, not many people are super familiar with these wings in the S2000 world, like I mentioned in the opener, and mostly because of the price. Uh, these are starting at two thousand dollars for this uh, for this airfoil. They're upgradable. And they come in a, a DRS type package where they have active rods and a computer controlled hydraulic module that'll flip the wing up under braking and uh, at other points where you would need something like that. However, that feature is not legal in my class, and that whole setup is about four grand. So I got this one. It's a 65 inch wing, and it is uh, the static version, so it doesn't flip up. It's a really, really nice quality piece. Let's go into some of the details on what it consists of. All right, so the first thing you'll notice is the quality of the construction. I mean, this is just solid really high quality carbon fiber work. Uh, the stands, the uprights, these are just crazy good, crazy solid. It's adjustable in one degree increments here. And I had some issues using other wings where uh, it was hard to actually get those holes to line up. This one, no issues, it works perfectly. It's just a beautiful piece. Uh, if you look at the trailing edge of this wing, it is, it's amazing how small that is, it's, it's awesome. It's a really sharp product, I love it. So the guys from Aeromotion, uh, the founder, he's an MIT guy. This is a wind tunnel tested wing, uh, which you're not really gonna find there in the market. So obviously it has some CFD stuff behind it, but this was wind, tun uh, wind tunnel tested. So it's, it's proven, the results are real. They don't post any of their lift to drag ratio numbers on their website. They will provide them to you when you ask, and uh, for this wing, it was 19.5 to one lift drag ratio, which is the highest that I saw out of any wing on the market. That's why I went with this. This is really a, a no budget build. So I went with the best that was available and this is literally the best I found available. I took the end plate off the wing here so you can see the, uh, the design of the wing. There is actually a pressure reduction system built and there's a curvature on the top of the wing and uh, that helps with some of the, uh, the airflow across here. You can read about that a little bit more on their website. And then uh, here's your end plate off the car or off the wing. And these are specific to the S2000. These are S2000 specific uh, mounting points here. And they have a nice little curvature. So I'll get this on the car tonight probably. Uh, I did mock it up already and it just fits there perfectly flush. So I'll be curious to see uh, how the whole thing goes together when it's on the car. I'll, I'll obviously show you a video of that when I'm done. But this is a, this is just a gorgeous product. Super happy with it. So this thing has a ton of strength to it. It has an aluminum wing spar that's going through the center of it, wrapped in carbon fiber. And the guys from Aeromotions actually sent me a picture with 900 pounds of barbells loaded on this wing. So of course I stood on it just to test to see if what they were claiming was BS or not. It should easily be able to support my weight and it did. So here's a picture of what that looked like. All right, so let's talk about some of the other wing options out there. So I seriously, seriously considered every single of these, single one of these wing options. I inquired with vendors, I inquired with other drivers, uh, I made some posts online, made some inquiries, and uh, they're all really good options, all right? 
So last year, the product that I ran was the eBay wing, right? So it's a 1600 millimeter Jay's replica Voltex wing. Uh, guys just call it the eBay wing, all right? It's sold on eBay. It doesn't have any specific name to it. And you can really easily find it. I'll have a link to it below. So it's about $550 and it's a damn, damn good quality replica wing. This thing is just, it's awesome for the price, right? Is it the highest quality? No, not really. It's not. Is it uh, the most efficient? No. Is it effective? Hell yeah. It's extremely effective. Uh, I won the championship on it, so I don't have anything bad to say about it. But again, just to quantify what I'm saying, it is the best wing for the price, right? So less than 600 bucks shipped to your door from China, you can't beat it. it you just can't. It's, it's a solid wing, right? So uh, I have no quarrels about making some recommendations on going with that. It's a nice wing. It's a nice quality product. No complaints, right? Moving up in the next tier in pricing, you have the Nine Lives Racing guys. These guys are doing some really cool stuff out there. They are offering an Elon Motorsports extrude honed aluminum airfoil, and they're making brackets custom specific to all the cool cars that guys drive in NASA and SECA and Grid Life and all that amateur motorsport stuff. That's really cool in my book. So American company, right? The airfoils designed in America. The guys are building these stands in America. So that's just, that's, that's good stuff, right? Can't, can't complain about that. Anyway, that airfoil, it's a, uh, it's really efficient. It's a 2D airfoil. It's going to be more efficient than that eBay one. And, uh, it's, it's aluminum, right? So it's not going to be that carbon fiber look and all that stuff that a lot of guys want to go for. I didn't go with that wing personally because the, the trunk mounts that they offered for it, I saw it on a couple of cars and it just wasn't, it was sturdy, but it just wasn't sturdy enough for me to actually spend money on it. Those guys do offer a really awesome solution though. They offer a chassis mount setup for the car, and that is a rock solid setup that those guys are making for the S1000. There's a lot of really, really fast drivers using that wing. Uh, in fact, the guy who placed only five hundredths of a second behind me at the national championship was using that wing. Uh, that kind of just, and that was five hundredths of a second behind my eBay wing. That just speaks volumes about the quality of that product and how efficient it is. It's an awesome wing. So good things to say. It's a nine hundred dollar wing. So for that price range, I don't think you really can beat that. Moving on to the next tier in pricing, there's the APR GT 250 wing, which retails for, I think, in the 1700-ish dollar range. They're all over the internet for about 14 and change. So it's a 2D wing carbon fiber from APR. Uh, just a little tidbit, that CFD data that they post about the wing is using a 71 inch uh, wing spar. So just kind of keep that in consideration. That's wider than the S2000. So normally you're gonna be running no more than 67 inches on an S2000 because it has to be as wide as the car or less. So uh, the data is gonna be kind of skewed. Again, there's a lot of BS and a lot of misleading data that you're gonna see posted out there. Anyway, that GT250 is a really nice quality wing and they've updated the uh, the stands that attach to the car. They're, they're massive. They're like big triangles that go on through your trunk. And apparently guys are not bending trunks using that. So that's a nice quality product, 2D efficient wing, carbon fiber, looks good. Nice quality product from APR. And you can get that in the 1400-ish range. So, uh, and then the next step from that is gonna be like an authentic Jays or an authentic Voltex. Uh, getting close to $2,000 there. Honestly, for that price, just buy that, that eBay one if you care about going fast. If you want some of that JDM stuff, I don't know. That's a different category of people. Uh, nothing wrong with them, but I'm talking about just racers. I can't see a racer who's gonna pay three times as much for the product that you can just buy as a replica. Uh, but again, once you get to that next tier in pricing, it's gonna be like that $2,000 range. And that's where that Air Emotions product comes in and you just can't do better. Can you spend even more? I haven't seen a product that even if you spend more money, that's gonna be more efficient than that. Uh, this is wind tunnel tested, MIT guys, like super brainiac type people working on this kind of stuff. It's, it's a solid product, but you gotta pay to play. So those are some of the options at those various price points. Next thing, I wanna get this thing on the car and uh, let's see how it actually mounts up. Let's see how sturdy it is. There's a couple of guys in my class that are running it. Uh, one is running on an RX-8 and one is running it on an E36 M3. And I saw those those wings, those Air Emotions wings mounted on those cars and it was just rock, rock solid. So I'm fairly confident it will be similar to that uh, for the S2000. So let's get it on the car and see how it looks. And there we have it. That is the Air Emotions wing mounted up to the trunk. You see that those base stands fit Pretty nicely. It's just kind of mocked up right now. I don't have all the bolts holding it down, but you can see this thing looks 
really good on the car. And there we have it. As far as the rest of the car, I've gotten it pretty stripped down. It's going in for a cage next weekend. It'll be gone for hopefully no more than a week or two. And I'll get it back and I'll start tearing into all this mess. So there you have it, air motion wing, kind of mocked up, mounted on the car. I gotta do a little bracing and security to make it all nicely uh, mounted, nice and sturdy, so it doesn't move on me at all. I'll get to that uh, hopefully by the end of the weekend. And that's it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that uh, quick episode on the wing that I'm gonna be using for next season. The next episode that we're gonna have is gonna be just prepping the car, going for the cage, right? So I have to get the seat mocked up. I have it on the rail. I just need to put it back in the car. I have to get the hard top on the car for transportation. And then uh, throw the wheels back on, get it on my trailer, and bring it over to Piper Motorsports in uh, Leesburg, Virginia. So looking forward to getting that done. When the car comes back, it'll be getting the, uh, the full paint treatment, right? So I have to go and just kind of finish up stripping any of the rubber and any of the, uh, the paint that's on the inside of the car. And then uh, just all that tedious, hard, nasty, grungy work, the prep work, right? The stuff that nobody likes before I have to go and fully spray it and paint it. So uh, I am, but I'm not looking forward to that. A couple more things, I gotta get the suspension on the car. You guys know I have the MCS two-way non-remotes. They're already sitting there, they're ready to go. I just gotta bolt them up. So I was waiting for the case to get done before I get that. And then I'm really excited to show everybody what I'm gonna be using for my brake system for next season. It's already here. Well, most of it's here. Uh, the rest of it should be here by the time that the cage is done. So we'll do an episode just on the brakes, uh, one of the most important parts. Unfortunately, the S2000 has uh, not the best brakes. It has a very, very good brakes for the HPD level, but unfortunately the rear is a single piston caliper using a solid rotor. So uh, at the level that we're racing these cars at, it's, it's not very reliable. And the front, everybody knows about the fronts. They, uh, they crack rotors, it is what it is. So I have a solution to that whole entire braking system that I'm looking forward to sharing with everybody. It's different than what I did last year. So just stay tuned and uh, we'll get to that in a couple of weeks when the car is ready to go at that point.